Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to separate multiple system sounds through a virtual audio cable using OBS. So what do I mean by this? I mean that we're going to be able to separate your Discord sound from your game volume or any other software that we can change this with into separate audio tracks so that when we export a video, we're going to have multiple audio tracks in that video so we can have our mic system sound and game sound all on each individual audio track so we can mute change volume edit them any way we want this adds more flexibility in post and it's just a nicer experience for anyone who's trying to do youtube or gaming videos it just adds more flexibility so i've made a previous video on this and showing you how to just separate your mic and system sound i'm not going to be showing you how to do this in this video otherwise this video will be 20 minutes long i'm going to leave an annotation on screen and a link in the description i'd recommend you go watch that video first to learn how to do the basic step and this is more of an advanced technique to be able to it separated a bit more to give you, like I said, more flexibility. So we're actually going to need a software called Virtual Audio Cables, which I will leave a link to this website in the description. And we are actually going to need a paid donation version. So how this works is you can donate whatever amount of money you want and you will get the software. So we are actually going to need to pay this. I paid 20 cents for my software and I would recommend that if this is something you are thinking about doing, 20 cents is really not a lot of money or whatever amount of money you want to donate. I would recommend this is the best option for this and how we're going to do it. So what this software is actually going to do is it's going to set up a couple of different audio inputs in our device. So as we can see on our left hand side here, we have the typical Windows input. We have a cable input A, which is from the software, cable input B, which is also from the software, and the overall cable input, which is from the software. So we're going to get three, these three separate channels from this software that are going to let us route different devices, or in this case, different sounds and systems into our OBS which is going to separate into multiple audio. I know I'm saying a lot of words and this took a while for me to figure it out and kind of make sense of it, but it's, bear with me, it's worth it. So once you actually pay and donate for the software, you're going to get two zipped files. You're gonna to have to download two separate files, which is going to be the audio channel A and audio channel B. And I have these into two separate folders right now. I know the folders are like named A. This is the copy as I named the folder and I forgot to rename it to B, but these are just extracted from the zips. So what you're gonna get is a bunch of stuff and you're going to get your three application files. Right click, run as admin for all these, otherwise you might have some difficulty installing. Get all of these installed for both A and B and then we are good to go. Once we have that done, we're going to open up our Windows tab and we're going to search for sounds and we're going to click enter or you can come down to your volume on your right hand side in your dock if you still have it here and you can click playback devices and it will open up the same bar. So once you're here, we're actually going to go to playback and we're going to see that our three audio cables are here. So the first thing we want to do is go to playback and set the cable input, the VB audio virtual cable, the white one uh, and set it as default. That's the first step we're going to have to do to make this work. The next step is to go to recording and we're going to select our audio cable A and the cable output standard one. And we're going to right click properties, listen. We're going to set listen to this device and then we're going to play back through whatever system you are using. So in this case, I'm using my headphones. So I'll go to set through the headphones. If you're using uh, speakers, you can set through your motherboard cable, which could be high, high definition, real tech audio whatever your output device is that you're using to listen, so in my case it's headphones, you're going to select that here and you're going to click OK and apply and you're going to do that to both A and B. So just properties, listen, select listen to this device and you're going to select your audio listening device. You can also do this with B if you're going to be using multiple devices. In this case, I'm just gonna set it up and show you how to actually do it with B. And it's as simple as that, click apply and OK. You have your audio device outputs set up. Now, some of you may be wondering what this actually does. And by having our setup A, B, and our output sound, we're going to be able to channel out our audio in the system to multiple devices or outputs to be able to separate them in OBS. And this is just one of the most effective methods to do it within Windows. And that's what we're doing right now. So our channel A is going to be set up for our Discord or TeamSpeak. Our output sound is going to be just for our Windows sound that's not Discord. And then we're going to have our separate microphone or whatever mic you're using for another track. In this case, we're going to be using three tracks. So the next step is actually to route our audio from an application to our input, which is then going to be picked up by OBS to be able to put on a separate track. So in this case, I'm going to be using Discord. You can use TeamSpeak and other applications. It's pretty easy. You're just looking for a couple of settings. So in Discord, you're going to come to user settings. We're going to go to voice 
and we're going to set our output device to cable A input. Now you can also set this to cable B if you wish, uh, if you're going for multiple devices. In this case, I'm just going to set it for cable A. Click cable A and click done. And that's all we need to do in Discord. You can do this in TeamSpeak or VLC or other applications to make it pick up through whichever cable input you want. So now we're ready to change our settings in OBS. So what we're going to have to do is come into OBS and we're going to have to click settings. We're going to go to audio and we're going to go to desktop audio device. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to change the default audio device that we changed in Windows previously in our system sounds. And we're going to set that up as the cable input VB virtual audio that we had set up previously. Our mic auxiliary audio device one, we're going to set up as our input mic. So this could be a blue snowball. It could be whatever mic you're using. Set it up to be mic channel one. And mic channel two, we're going to set up as cable A output. Now we set this just before in Discord. So our mic auxiliary two input is going to be Discord. Our mic auxiliary one output is going to be our microphone. And our, mic and our desktop audio device is going to be our system sound. So we have our three audio tracks right here. Mic one is my microphone. You can see I'm talking. Desktop audio is our desktop audio. And mic auxiliary two is our Discord. Now you can set mic auxiliary two to whatever you want. In this case, I just use Discord. You can use TeamSpeak or whatever other device or application in this case that you want. And you can also set up mic channel B to be a separate input device here also to separate our four audio tracks. Now, once you have this done, we can come to our mixer and we can set which track we want to be on which audio track from our previous tutorial that we set up. So in this case, my mic and auxiliary is going to be on my audio track one. My desktop audio is going to be on track two. My Discord is going to be on track three and on track four, I'm going to have all of them as they're all selected here. Now you can set this with up or set this up whatever way you want. And you can also name these within our uh, output settings audio and you can give these each a name. Now, as I'm recording right now, this is blacked off as you can change settings mid thing to rename a file. But this does work and this is the best method to separate multiple system audio sounds within Discord. Now I know this can be a bit of a complicated tutorial and I hopefully I explained it the best of my ability. I think I did. It took me a bit of trial and error to figure this out myself. It's not a difficult thing. It's just a little bit of playing around and testing. If any of you guys need any help with this, let me know in the comments down below. I'll help whatever way I can. This is something I would definitely recommend doing. And for the price of, I don't know, I think I, I am assuming you can just donate one cent for the software. I would recommend it if you're doing any sort of video editing or you're just recording gameplay for YouTube. This can just give you a bit of flexibility, even if you're playing, even if you're streaming and you're playing music you can record as well as stream and then you can remove the music in post and still be able to edit up and upload it to YouTube without having to worry about copyright strikes or whatever for whatever sound you're playing on your stream. It's just a couple of different bits, things you can do and it just adds a bit more flexibility so you can, you know, make the best video as possible. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, leave a like if this helped you and share with your friends if there's anyone that can help you out with. If you need any help, let me know in the comments down below. I will help in any way that I can. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.